Kadim, I decided to end our project as soon as possible. As you can see, we'll show you guys right now. Uh, I've been working on this car from this morning. And look at this mess, they're everywhere. Parts is everywhere, it's all messed up right here. So let me guys show you what I have done so far. Look at him, I decided to just remove the suspension. Here is the suspension guys. I do apologize that we're not showing you guys how it's done. Uh, it's been taking, a, uh, we've been taking a while. And it's getting cold. And it's getting cold and we gotta clean this place right here so but I can show you what I've done inside see I removed all the wiring you see Nikodim? Yeah. I have to cut it I didn't save that wiring you know, you know we, we cut the wires why because I don't want to pull this dashboard that's too much work we're gonna leave all the heater everything is there so I removed the wiring here is the wiring it's really messy right now. So, and this is the calipers, Brembo calipers right here. This is the rear caliper, and I have the front ones right here. We'll take pictures of them, Nicodem, and we'll post them on our eBay store. This is made in Italia. Made in Italy, right? So here is the knuckle that I put that I pulled. Once again, guys, I do apologize that I, I'm not showing you guys how it's done. This is the rear shock right here, control arms. Um, Nikodim is doing his homeschool homeschooling. That's why I have to come and do this work by myself. And let me see if I can put this up. You sure can. It's okay. So, this one is a tap speed motorsport, beautiful exhaust. So I pulled this this morning. Here is my airbag jack right here, and you can see, guys. Here is the rear rear end. I already already pulled some of the control arms right here. There is the reinforcement. Now I still have to do this side right here. All the control arms are still here. I am not educating Nicodem on this because it's gonna take a while and we didn't wanna, I didn't wanna make a long video. So that's why I was working by myself this morning. And you have to, crawl underneath the car to disassemble the it's exhaust catchy, and everything right? it, a little bit but overall that's why you know it's it's a mechanical job and i didn't want to make it in waste any more time sorry your education class was, yeah. was over i want the dodge, the dodge and all of this broken oh, parts yeah. right here Still have to remove the motor, which I will do. I can actually put a camera and show you guys how I disassemble everything, but it's it will take a while. It's gonna be a long, long video. So, um, and plus, nobody ever commented in our videos, right? What they want to see it, how we remove parts. That's why we decide to. I decide to just move on, and finish this because I have another project right there in my yard right there and there's one more project there is a Lexus a Lexus IS 350 model which I show you guys later in the video what I'm planning to do with that car and there is a Dodge Challenger that we started and we have another Dodge Challenger we have to disassemble and we have to take all the pictures or all of the parts we pull to list them in our store we're not making enough on youtube right yeah that's why we gotta sell our parts man that's we gotta do what we have to do now it will be a little bit 
hard Nicodem to pull this motor, but uh, you know, we'll see. Are you gonna use this? Yeah, most likely we'll use that too. So, we're almost done. Are we gonna sell this? Worse. Are those called rings? Huh? Are those called rings or how? Are those called rings? Rings? Rings. Rings? Yeah. No, like this. Break this. No, like this thing. Break this. Is it a break? That's so loud. Did it come out? Is it stuck or something? Okay guys, I'm back. I want to show you guys a little bit of what we have done so far. As you guys can see it, here is the parts that's a, that we pulled off the car. Some of them I already showed you. This is the rear cross member, left side suspension right here, a differential. Let's see if this is a locking or non-locking differential. This is not a non locking, so it's not an LSD. And we have the exhaust right here. All of these items I will list in my store. Here is right side suspension. And look at all this mess right here. And here is the motor. Look at this motor right here. Guys, look at the transmission just imagine how badly it was hit look at that split in that transmission it just cracked in half that is crazy look at all of that that was one bad 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 hit on on this motor right here 
So I managed to pull that off the car. Now I gotta just pull AC compressor, power steering, some of the parts that we're gonna resell of this motor. And look at that, guys. Look at this. This is transmission. This is how it just snapped in half. I mean, I been in this business for a while. I never seen anything like anything like this. This is really, really bad. A little bit underneath the car. Um, pretty much what's left on this car is for me to just pull pull the fuel tank right there. I already drained the, the fuel of the of the car. We got some gasoline, extra gasoline, and pretty much I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this car. This is crazy, crazy one crazy project that I've been doing this for a couple of months. I mean, all this job can be done in just a couple of days. You know, you can take a car like in two, three days if you have all the, you know, right tools, lift, everything. You can pull all that in just a couple of days. But since we were doing YouTube project, it took us a while, a couple of months. But all, overall, I'm almost done. And I am will move to a next, next project. Here's the carpet, some other parts. And today I would have to remove that um, trunk lift or tailgate, whatever you call it. I'm gonna pull that off the car and I will use my tractor right there just to remove this car you know, from this place so I can clean up everything. And this is it, it was one fun project I've done. And I hope you guys share this video, so I hope you guys like the content. Um, I know in, in this last video, I'm, you know, I'm doing all the, all the work by myself without my son Nicodem. And it's just, it's taking too long. That's why I didn't, you know, I wasn't video filming this um, because it, it was taking too much time. I have to run back and forward underneath the car, you know, finding right tools. And that's why I couldn't videotape everything. But, it, but hopefully you guys like the content we previously done for you guys. And you guys share, share and like this video. And once again guys thank you thank you for watching and we'll see what else we'll do on this car i will let you guys know i might even cut this quarter panel the rear clip right here just to save it and see maybe you know we can solve a quarter panel from a car like this but i'm not really sure if if people will be interested in this uh, let me know in comments below what else you guys would want to see. I would have to break this motor down pretty much from all the parts. Like I'm gonna put the remove the exhaust system so we can just resell this. And if you guys are interested in parts, let me know. Some parts are still good on this motor. Thank you guys. Goodbye.